Wakey, wakey. It's Monday. So good to see you. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I have my favorite latte here. Mm, so good. Okay, so we're in the fourth of the series now. The four letters of the Jungian archetypes were in the last two. Judging versus perceiving. Now, this one is kind of, well, can be a bit confusing because the J for judging does not mean that you are judgmental. J actually stands for the archetype of this element of personality called the judge. And what that means is, is that judges like to have things decided. That's their job is to make a final decision, a commitment one way or the other, right? So that's a J. P's on the other side are perceiving, meaning they're open to perception. They're open to options. They like to leave things open. Where the judge likes finality, the perceiver likes to keep things Keep their options open. Oh, wait and see. We'll see what happens. And then I will decide. Peas have a tendency to, to make decisions at the very last possible minute sometimes. They're the ones who, you know, will wait until the deadline is like tomorrow and work their tails off to get things done. Where the judging person plans diligently, has their eye on the calendar and the clock, and figures out all the steps that they need to complete so that they are usually finished before the deadline. Okay. Just is how we are. Jays are the planners and they're, they're, I won't say driven, driven by the clock and the calendar, but they are very conscious of the clock and the calendar where the perceptive is, you know, Hey, I know I got to get this done, but I don't have to do it right now. Maybe I'll do a little bit now and maybe I'll do some later. You know, maybe later I'll have better ideas. So <laughs> that's the challenge. And it, it seems very common that opposites attract, right? A, a judging person whose life is very, very well structured. Predominantly structured, right? value the perceivers because they're serendipitous and adventuresome. And they're like, wow, I kind of like that idea. I could never do it, but <laughs> I like to see it in action, right? And the perceivers see the judges go, wow, I wish I was more like them. You know, I wish I could be more regimented in what I do. Or not. You know, perceivers being perceivers, sometimes they're like, poor, poor judger. Has to be, you know, structured because they just don't have the agility that us perceivers have. We can shift and move and we're good at it. <laughs> so we think, right? That's how we see ourselves. How does the world see us as perceivers? So think about that. Um, do you keep a schedule? Judges are more ritual based which mean they're up every morning at the same exact time. They have, they, they go and get their coffee and they have a list of the things that they want to get done for the day. And they look at that list. I usually go after the toughest ones first so that once they're done, I can be, that's done. Right. But that's a J. I am such a J. I hate it. But then again, I don't know that I could be a P ever. So, which are you? Are you that structured person or are you that person who's more agile, serendipitous, adventuresome? You know, let's see where the day takes us, right? You're predominantly one or the other. Certainly, you know, as a P, you, you can take on some J stuff, meaning if you have to be at a doctor's appointment, you're going to be there. It might be. You know, a few minutes late, but, you know, they make you wait in the waiting room forever, right? <laughs> P 
key thinking, key thinking going on. And then J's also, you know, sometimes, although we feel a little bit uncomfortable, sometimes we can be adventuresome and serendipitous. Write down below, which do you think you are? I'm going to do a, a deeper drill down once again on After the Coffee on Wednesday. I hope you join me for that. And in the meantime, I hope you have your, your warm libation that's bringing you up this morning. I, I almost hit snooze this morning. <gasps> Imagine that, a J hitting the snooze button. That's just wrong. But it was so warm in bed. I was like, oh, I wish I could stay longer. I think we've all had that experience at one time or another, right? Enjoy your coffee. I hope you've enjoyed this cup of joe. And I really appreciate you being with me this morning. I look forward to our talks. And I look forward to you having a wonderful week. Lead well. And I will see you on Wednesday on After the Coffee.